Red Cross Representative Joanna Zavala informs us that the best way to prepare for a disaster is to make a disaster kit and come up with a plan. Your disaster kit should have essential supplies that you will need for approximately three to four days, and that includes water supply for everybody in your family. On October 14th, the OCFA will be hosting an open house at the Orange County Fire Authority headquarters. Join us for free food, fun activities for the kids, fire safety education, live fire demonstrations, and more. Children drown without a sound. It's a silent killer. Supervision is key to prevention, so please watch the water. For more information on drowning prevention, please contact the Orange County Fire Authority at 714-573-6200 or visit our website at ocfa.org. The advantage to having a residential sprinkler system installed is that's basically like having a full-time firefighter 24-7 on duty right there in every single room of your house ready to activate at any given moment and they will have that fire extinguished before the fire department even arrives. I think if city councils uh, had an opportunity to see the demonstration that I saw In addition to providing support to families in their hour of need, the Trauma Intervention Program provides relief to emergency personnel as well. Before we had TIP, what we were faced with is our firefighters go into scenes of tragedies uh, where someone had suffered a, a loss of a loved one or a significant injury, and uh, there was a sense of no closure as we drove away. Career and volunteer firefighters were assisting with sandbagging during heavy rains in the Silverado Canyon. At the time, Battalion Chief Mark Hawkins was a volunteer firefighter and a junior at El Medina High School. It was a day that Mark Hawkins would never forget. All of a sudden, it was like an earthquake, and everything went like topsy-turvy, and next thing you know, I'm buried in the wreckage of the station. And, um, what had happened is a landslide had come down just like an arrow pointing toward the back of the station. And tons and tons of mud, oak trees and everything came down right into the back of the station. So there were people stacked like cordwood in front of the fireplace. The bottom layer was Monty and Robert, the two guys I'd just previously, minutes before, been sitting next to. And Robert was dead and Monty was dying because he was still communicating. Above him, was a woman by the name of Jane Wareham, and she was eight months pregnant. And she was trapped in there, and she was screaming to this day, I still hear those screams, get me out of here, my baby, my baby. 